Now, the all-new hardcore off-roading Ineos Grenadier is set to dominate the local wilderness, and it's landing on Aussie driveways very, very soon. But with pricing here in Australia kicking off from around about $100,000, it got us thinking, what can you buy on the used market that matches all of the Grenadier's skills for around about the same sort of money? Now, there's a few contenders to go through here, but at the end of the video, we want to know, which would you buy? Would you buy one of the cars we're going to mention, or would you buy the new Ineos Grenadier? Let us know in the comments. But kicking things off, it's a vehicle that's arguably as purpose-built for going off-road as the Ineos Grenadier. It's the Jeep Wrangler. Both the Wrangler and Grenadier are built on body-on-frame chassis. They're incredibly close in overall dimensions. They both retain solid axles. They're both available with petrol or diesel engines. They're both loaded with off-roading equipment, and they've both been engineered to absolutely dominate the wilderness. They both look like slightly modernized versions of classic old-school off-roaders, but both do have some question marks hovering over their roofs regarding quality and reliability. For the Grenadier, it's because it's not only a brand new car, but a brand new manufacturer, and it's powered by a BMW engine, which isn't the first power plant that comes to mind when you think hardcore off-roading prowess. And for the Jeep, it's question marks are because, well, it's a Jeep, and maybe it's just here in Australia, but Jeep doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to quality and reliability. Speaking of things possibly exclusive to Australia, currently a used 2019 to 2021 Wrangler Rubicon in excellent condition can cost up to $100,000, and even in some cases, more than that. Even the cheaper examples kick off from around about $80,000. So do you buy the Wrangler or the Grenadier? Actually, before you answer that, maybe you want to check out how a JK Wrangler handles many years and thousands of kilometers of use, check out our review video just up here. So this next option, it had to be included because the Ineos Grenadier is basically the new version of it. It's the old Land Rover Defender. And there's also another Land Rover that deserves an honorable mention. For $100,000, yes, you can buy the new Grenadier, but for the same money, you can buy the off-roader that inspired the Grenadier in the first place. That's right, 100 grand will get you into a, around about a 2013 to 2016 Defender that should be in really good condition. However, if you want a mint condition and minimal kilometers version, you're gonna be looking deep into the $120,000 realm here in Australia. But in saying that, 120,000 bucks should also get you into a uh, nicely optioned brand new Grenadier. But while the Ineos hasn't yet earned its stripes in terms of consumer use and abuse, the utilitarian Land Rover has basically been setting the standard for what a serious off-roader should be able to achieve for over 70 years. The thing is, but even in its final form with air conditioning and a leather interior and Bluetooth connectivity, it was still about as hardcore as it gets for a modern vehicle. And while it's no secret that Ineos have used the original Defender as its inspiration, they also promise that the Grenadier will move the game forward in terms of comfort and occupant accommodation. But for your 100 $100,000 do you buy the original or the apparently much improved replica or do you buy a whole different Land Rover, the Discovery 4? Many say that the brand new Defender is actually the true replacement for the much-loved Disco 4 and therefore makes for a valid alternative to the Grenadier. Using a body-on-frame structure, purpose-built transmission and diffs, some very clever off-roading technology and a choice of petrol or diesel power plants all wrapped in a big boxy body, the Disco shares many attributes with the new Grenadier. However, you're going to save potentially tens of thousands of dollars if you go for the Disco. Even low-kilometer, pristine condition, top-spec Disco 4s can be had for around about $65,000. But should you really buy one of these instead of a new Ineos? Well, why not watch our full review of a Disco 4? The link for that video is just up there. Okay, next up is the 70 Series Toyota Land Cruiser. While the 70 Series and the Grenadier, they do share a lot of similarities, Ineos claim that the Grenadier does have many points of difference from the iconic Toyota. They'll offer an automatic transmission, plus a very comprehensive range of safety equipment, and apparently a range of other features that you just won't find in the Land Cruiser. But the 70 Series is renowned for simply being an indestructible, iconic, and immensely capable off-roader. And it makes for a brilliant platform to build an almost military-grade off-roading weapon. But this is where the 70 Series becomes a bit controversial. Look, there's no denying its abilities both in terms of off-roading performance and reliability, even in the worst conditions, but in standard form, it's just not perfect. Actually, maybe check out this video up here to see what we're talking about. Plus, for what 70 Series are currently asking for on the used market, you could potentially buy two Grenadiers. Yes, there are 70 Series available drenched in off-roading gear for around about $100,000, but the seriously well-equipped and mint condition examples are closer to $200,000, with some even topping that. So, do you buy one of these hardcore $200,000 70 series Land Cruisers or a couple of Grenadiers or maybe two of a different vehicle that's also worth a mention? 
Because for $100,000, you could also get behind the wheel of a, another iconic off-roader. It's the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. New Grenadier money will get you into a 2011 or a 2012 G350 Bluetech. And like the new Ineos, the big G puts a decidedly European flair on the adventuring off-road category. But unlike the Grenadier, the G-Wagon comes with decades of pedigree and an iconic status and reputation that really only a Land Cruiser can match. Now, the next Grenadier alternative is arguably the Land Cruiser family's arch nemesis, it's the Y62 Nissan Patrol, or if you're watching this from the US, it's the Nissan Armada. While it can be argued that the Patrol isn't exactly a direct competitor to the Grenadier, because the Nissan features an independent suspension layout, it's powered by a fire-breathing 5.6 litre V8 versus the possibly more frugal diesel and petrol six-cylinder options in the Ineos, and the Patrol, while supremely talented when it comes to off-roading, is potentially targeted at more of a long-distance touring audience versus the Grenadier's target market, both the Nissan and the Ineos make for compelling arguments to win our hearts, minds, and wallets. And speaking of wallets, this is where these two are very comparable. The Grenadier's approximate $100,000 price tag will get you into a very nice 2020 or even 2021 Y62 Patrol, most likely fitted with some very tasty off-roading accessories and obviously that delicious V8. Plus the Nissan is bigger, it can tow more weight, and like its arch nemesis Land Cruiser, comes with a hell of a reputation and a loyal fan base. Now guys, before we get to our final contender, if you're enjoying this video and our content in general, can you please hit those like, subscribe and bell buttons and share our content with your mates? That'd be awesome. Maybe go on redriven.com and buy some merch too. Righto, our final contender, and it's arguably the most celebrated vehicle that we've listed so far. It's another Land Cruiser, but this time it's the 200 series. There's an old saying, you go into the desert in a Land Rover, but you come out in a Land Cruiser. And even though the 200 series does have its detractors, claiming that the Land Cruiser has become softer with each new generation, there's simply no denying that the iconic Toyota can more than hold its own in the very worst conditions and on the toughest terrain while keeping all of its occupants safe, secure and very comfortable. Plus, thanks to Toyota's unparalleled support network, the 200 series is rarely far from spare parts and qualified help, not that you'll ever need either of those things. And this incredible the incredible support network is an area that is going to be very tough for the Ineos to compete in, and one to keep in mind when you're picking if you're going to buy the new Grenadier or any of the other alternatives on this list. Pricing wise, and like the 70 series, 200 series Land Cruiser prices have gone crazy of late, with plenty of recent accessory laden and near new examples asking well over $200,000. However, for the Grenadier's approximate $100,000 price tag, you can still get behind the wheel of a 2018 or 2019 200 series Land Cruiser in a high spec with loads of goodies and in great condition. Now guys, this brings us to the entire point of this video. We want to know which you would buy. Would you buy one of the four wheel drives that we've mentioned or would you buy the new Ineos Grenadier? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you real soon. Bye. Quite a few years and many thousands of kilometers of use. Fuck me. Quite nicely optioned a brand new, Fuck me. Plus, thanks to Toyota's unparalleled support network, the as the Nissan features an independent suspension layout. Suspension, suspension.